From the very first episode, all the hallmarks were there. The music, the working class, tart-tongued characters, and Tony Warren's talent for finding the drama in everyday events. Been out of that place seven weeks now. Oh, don't let's wrap it up. If you mean prison, say it, everyone else does. British viewers had never seen anything like it. People from the fictional northern town of Weatherfield sounded real. Do you want gravy? I wouldn't mind. Well, you'll have to wait while I warm it up, then. Growing up, Warren developed an ear for dialogue by listening to his Manchester relatives. As a gay man at a time when homosexuality was a crime, listening was crucial. I was the outsider. But you see, the outsider sees more. The outsider hears more. The outsider has to do that to survive. And that's what qualified me to write Coronation Street. In 1960, Warren wrote the first season at the young age of 24. 56 years later, Coronation Street remains the longest running soap in TV history. In the UK, millions still tune in, not to mention the hundreds of thousands of Canadian Cory fans, such as Christine Warren. She's got the Cory teapot and a blog where she shares what makes the street special. They can do tragedy and comedy in one episode and it just blends and you, one minute you're crying and the next minute you're laughing and then you're crying again and that's, I think that's what spans the generations. Today, generations of actors who built their careers on the show pause to pay tribute. Helen Wirth has played Gail McIntyre since 1974. It is the end of an era. But I do think we should all be thankful for Tony Warren's life. Tony Warren wrote other TV programs and novels, but he remained a consultant on his personal creation right up until his death at 79. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.